<laughs> Welcome back everybody, Rage here. Today we'll be covering the new bait station, its purpose, and how to use it. So moving right along, getting into it, the bait station is a small water barrel like structure. You can access its inventory and put one of three different fuels into it. You can put toxic sludge in and that will basically slow the movement speed of the creatures that are attracted and lured to it. You can put the toxic flora into the fuel which will put the wild creature to sleep making it really easy to tame. And then you can put the venom as the third toxic compound as fuel and that will bleed the tame for 5% of its health over the course of 10 seconds. One thing that I did find that was pretty cool is you do get a visual representation of what kind of fuel you're using. So here's the standard bait station. It's just a water barrel with some vines on it. No big deal. Now if you go into the inventory and you use the toxic flora and open it, you'll see that the bait station has some fungus grown around the bottom here. And then if we take that out and we use venom, You'll now see that it has some spikes and a little snake head there. And then if we take out the and put in the sludge, it has a nice little oil spill at the bottom so you can quickly see what you're using to lure and bait your creatures. All right, so for our first test, we'll go ahead and uh, attempt to lure this turtle that's walking up on us. Uh, for the fuel, we're going to go ahead and use the toxic flora. And then we have to put the turtle's favorite food into the inventory. So we'll just take a vegetable. And then we're going to have to go ahead and open the barrel. And that should begin attracting this turtle right here. It's not, it's not the fastest, but you can see how the turtle rushes towards the bait station and then it's going to ingest the toxic floor that we put in there. And you'll see now that the turtle is unconscious, but you can still tame it. So it's very, very easy to tame. And here we have a pig spawned in. We'll wait for it to get lured to the bait station. You can see it charging. Confused. Now it's going to go ahead and eat. And it is passed out. Making taming very easy. There it's eating. And put to sleep by the toxic flora. And here comes a rhino. Night night. And here comes our Yeti. Oh hey there. And here's our tiger. Now, one thing that I took quite a while to figure out was they don't actually like the prime meat or the animal meat. You have to use marrow. That is their preferred food. We'll go ahead and test with the toxic sludge. Now we'll notice he ran up real quick and after he eats, he will be snared. So if we punch him, run away. You'll notice when he comes after us, he is definitely snared. And then the last uh, fuel source that we're going to use is going to be the venom. And you'll see once this lion eats the venom, it will begin to bleed over time. It will bleed for 5% of its total health over 10 seconds. Now if you do leave the base station here and let that lion come back it will continue to eat from the bait station taking an additional five percent health so you can whittle them down over time to make it really easy to tame but I, mean, I think the easiest way to tame them is still going to be using the flora just to knock them out and for another test we're going to go ahead and adjust the bait potency it's really easy to do all you have to do is access the bait station radio menu set the bait potency here and then you can pick from one food all the way up to six food. 
Each level will increase the duration of the effect by two seconds, all the way up to the six food, where it actually doubles the effect from 10 seconds to 20 seconds. So we'll go ahead and get another lion spawned in here, and then we'll wait for him to eat it. And then we'll piss it off. And it should be snared for 20 seconds now, instead of 10 seconds. I do notice that they have a tendency to just kind of walk away from you and kind of lose interest, but uh, either way, they can't really get to you. And that pretty much wraps up everything that there is to know about the bait station. So if you have any comments or anything like that, just go ahead and leave it in the comments section down below, and uh, I'll do my best to answer any questions you have. So until next time, catch you guys later.